What up, peeps? Welcome to the stream. That's right, a stream of The Sims 4. It only took me like five years to, to start the stream up because I tweeted about it. When, when did I tweet about this? It was a while, maybe like an hour ago. Anyway, what's up, everybody? How we doing? Uh, so this, uh, before we get started, I just want to say that this was actually like a comment a little while ago. I've got it here. Let me read it. So this is a comment on Wags to Riches, Cats and Dogs, episode 13 by the Nail, uh, Nailomon? I don't know how to say their name, but it was by them. It was a top rated comment on that episode, and I was like, that's a good idea. This is like the, this is like the perfect series like to do as a stream series, just because it's gonna, I know it's going to take a while. Um, this is, so basically, this is their comment. Might I suggest an idea for a new challenge to embark on after this one is finished? <laughs> they were wrong. I'm going to do it at the same time. It's kind of fun. It's a kind of fun rags to riches in hard mode. Wait, I read that so wrong. It's kind of rags to riches in hard mode. Basically start from nothing and work your way up with all the usual rules, but no selling items to invisible people. Uh, first, this would mean no selling straight from your inventory. You can only sell items to real sims you interact with, uh, with like through the means like the flea market, the selling table, etc. Uh, this would eliminate fishing, painting, digging, and a lot of the other common ways to earn cash in the first stages of rags to riches, which is going to make this tough. Uh, and then... Uh, and then there should uh, still be a few options left, like playing instruments for money. Also, don't do illegal stuff like no klepto trades, asking for loans, etc. Uh, I mean, asking for loans is not really illegal, but I get what they mean. Like, that would be a little bit easier. Uh, and then, then they said, I have not tried it, but it's possible it might end in a massive disaster. But at least it'll be much more realistic and let you fully embrace the hobo life. Uh, right, so that's what we're going to be doing. I think basically the plan of attack, because we can't sell stuff without earning money. Like, yeah, so we can't sell stuff in a retail store because we can't afford it. Uh, really, I think the only way we're going to be able to do this is with the flea market. Like, when that pops up as a festival to sell items. So I guess my plan of attack would be to collect and get as many items as possible. Yeah, we can still run a resell retail store, but we have to be able to afford to buy one. Uh, so, which we obviously can't do right now. Um, so my guess is we collect as many things as we can that we can sell at the, uh, at the flea market. And when that eventually pops up, whether that's this week in the game or we have to wait like two weeks or something, we'll eventually be able to do that and hopefully have enough money, uh, to continue on. Uh, I think the, probably the way to go is we go to the flea market, we sell stuff there whenever that is, hopefully have enough to get our own selling table. And then we can keep selling that way and then eventually get a retail store and probably do it that way as well and get money up. Uh, and that would probably work, I'm going to guess. Uh, go fishing and wish for a violin maybe, then learn to play and get money like that. Where do we get violins? Because I know you can do that. Didn't we find one in Oasis Springs? That's a good point. The Apparently the selling tables are broken since the Cats and Dogs update. Really? I hope they're not, otherwise I don't know how the hell we're going to do this. <laughs> the number under the face cam, that's like how many people have followed since the stream started. So thank you for following. You know what, let's, I think here's the plan. We're going to go, let's go to Sam Maishuna. Let's stop napping, because we were just napping to get a thumbnail shot. Right, let's travel to Sam Maishuna, because there's instruments in... No, let's go to Oasis Springs. I don't really want to use the instruments that are already there, because that kind of feels like almost stealing. In a way, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, Rags Rich is kind of about the thing that's where we don't... Like, because realistically, we can just go to someone's house, sleep on their bed, eat their food very easily. Rags riches, you can also very easily just marry someone and steal their house too. But that's not what this is about, because that's way too, way too weird. Also, has this always been like this? Because that's disgusting. Can someone fix that? Well, at least, at the very least, like, blend that in and, like, sidewalk there. Come on. I actually, I don't think I've ever looked at that before. That's awful. Uh, anyway, let's go over here. Public instruments are cool, like getting money for an open mic. I think, I kind of feel like, for me, also because Rags of Riches is a series. It, it's like the challenge I always play by my own rules anyway. And my own rule, I kind of decide I don't want to do that. I, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem right. Like, it doesn't seem like if you were living on the street, you could just walk into like a museum and start playing a violin. I mean, I get, you probably could, but like, I don't know, like it... Let's just try this, because I think this might be a good idea. What? Oh yeah, what's my sim's name? I didn't even tell everyone my sim's name, or even show you my sim. Here's my sim. There he is, look at him. He's had a tough life. You can fish for violins, but it'll be so hard. Well, look, we got nothing but time, so <laughs> we got nothing but time. Uh, we, yeah, oh yeah, so <laughs> his name. I <laughs> didn't even do that bit. His name is, uh, Harvey Hazatoff. 
Spelt uh, like so. There you go. Harvey Hazatoff. That's how you say it. Oh, you get adopt a stray cat. You get them to find feathers. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to feed. Yeah, okay. Let them find feathers in a bit. But the thing is, okay, so we... Even if they could find feathers, we can't sell them. Because... That's we can't sell them through the inventory. We'd have to have like a retail store to be able to do that. Your man, uh, your man looks like a scene from a TV show called Impractical Jokers. I think I've only ever watched that show on a plane. Alright, let's fast forward time. We really don't need to sit here for, like in real time waiting for him to fish something. Now, can we sell? I assume can we sell fish at like the flea market? Like if we put them on the wall, is that something we can do? I know, I know we can sell stuff in a store, but we have to like, earn money to be able to get a store first, which we don't have. It'd be cool to be a homeless man with a dog. It would be cool, but we would like as someone mentioned before, we would not be able to feed the dog. We have no money, so probably not a good idea. Uh, so we'll give that one a miss for now. Wow, you were severely overdressed for this location. So can we sell these on like the walls? Like the flea market walls? Because if so, that'll be fine. You can always cook the fish. Can- do we need a- don't we need a fire pit for that though? The witch came with outdoor retreat? Because I don't think you can do it here. Uh, I think you need a- I guess we- you know, no, you'd have to pay to go to outdoor retreat, wouldn't you? There's no fire pit anywhere else, I don't think. Oh, look at that! Cow plant berry! I don't know that I- that I can do anything with that though, because... But I guess I could plant it. As long as I don't make money from it, I could just plant it or something. Uh, his traits. Good call. Let me go through those. Uh, so I chose traits that weren't gonna really benefit me in any meaningful way. Because I could I could have done like perfectionist and loner so we didn't have to do social and all that, but I wanted to also make that a little bit difficult, more difficult. Uh, so he's just clumsy, you know, he tends to laugh when he, at the, in the face of failure, when he fails at stuff. Uh, you know, he's a good kind of guy. And he's just good, and he's a bro. Like, that's basically it, and his aspiration is to be, uh, fabulously wealthy. So that's what we're doing there. So do we have to be like a certain level to get a, um, a violin, or will it just happen randomly? Because I know it happened... In my Wax Riches Let's Play. Uh, so we have got a little bit of hunger. I don't think anyone's got any food out, but we do have a cow plant berry, so that's a- that's a good call. Eat your cow plant berry, bro. That should make you feel better. How much hunger does that feel? It should be a lot, is what I say. It's not a lot. It did like nothing. Should we- no, oh, do we get dig for treasure? Do we want to do that? I mean, I guess so. Might as well use- use our treasure map, because I don't know if we can sell that anyway. But yeah, so we- basically, because we can sell all these collectible things at a flea market, right? That hasn't disappeared, that's still there. Uh, will you still garden? Um, we can, but we'd have to sell the produce somehow. Uh, oh, you know what we could do with gardening later on, later on. Can, wait, can you sell just like produce, like a- uh, Oh yeah, can, can't you put them in like fridges or something and sell it in retail stores? Or I was thinking the other way we could do it is if we grow our own produce and then bake, <laughs> we could do it that way. I don't know, like I don't, I don't know how, how we do it, because we can't just sell stuff to no one, basically, is the idea. How am I eating without money? Uh, yeah, we can steal people's barbecues, we can eat produce, all that kind of stuff. I don't think- people never seem to barbecue at Oasis Springs for some reason. Um, but in Willow Creek, they always are on the barbecue, so we might have to pop over there in a bit. But we'll take all these, uh, collectibles. Seems difficult, hence the title, EXTREME! I should have made like a sting, so I could press a button and it'll play an awesome thing. Rags to riches! <laughs> I mean, look, we'll do a retail store eventually, whenever we have enough money. Let's actually go over to Oasis Springs. So I want to start uh, trying- not Oasis Springs, already there. Willow Creek, because I want to start trying to get some um, food. I don't know what I was going to say, money. Money would be good too. But food, uh, and people seem to barbecue here way more often. Okay, so hopefully if we hang out here a little bit, let's actually just go fishing. We won't get a violin from there, but we get more fish. Uh, we could grill fish if we could get to outdoor retreat the world, whatever that is called. But we can't do it on regular barbecues for some reason. Now, can someone just make some food? Because I would really appreciate that. That'd be great. Your sim's looking good though. Yeah, he's pretty- he's pretty, uh... He's a good looking dude. I'll give him that. Look at him. Nice. Uh, so, I mean, we've got a lot of things. Can we- now, can we sell time capsules by themselves? Because I- yeah, I don't know how that works. See, here's the problem. I think because it's now night time, there's not going to be anyone making food. <laughs> I think that's the problem. All right, so we got, we're collecting some good things here. I tried this challenge, I couldn't. <laughs> well, look, we'll see how we go. I mean, we might actually die. Like, I, I don't know, that might happen. Let's go nap over here, because... We'll just get at least get our energy up uh, for tomorrow. Yeah, I think we we'll have to talk to someone just to get our social up as well. Gonna need to do that soon. All right, we're gonna have to nap a few times here. No, wait, was he, was he able to grill something? How did he even do that? Brew herbal remedy. No, we can't even do anything. 
How was he gonna grill? I, Cause I just saw an option- wait, unless someone left food on the grill. There's still someone here, make me food! Damn it! Uh, yeah, I know you're hungry. The good thing is, I think- how long does it take Simms to die from hunger? Like, it's a long time. Wait, what? He was about to do it again. I gotta- next time he does the grill thing, I gotta see what he's actually doing. Cause I- I think I've tried to kill Simms from hunger before. I swear it takes like three days or something. Uh, yeah, we can eat plants that we harvest. The problem is, cause it's a new save game, there's not gonna be anything really grown yet. Like, flowers might be around, but there's not really gonna be anything edible. There's a wild strawberry bush there, but that'll take a few days, probably, or like a day or so. It's like three days from hunger. Yeah, so we, we got time. Like, we got time. Like, he's not- look, he's not gonna be happy about it, about being hungry, but... At least we wouldn't die. Alright, let's just get my hygiene up. Is there anyone around that I can talk to? Hey, can I ask you to make me food? <laughs> can you make me food, please? Oh god, I almost knocked that over. Jesus. <laughs> almost knocked over my coffee. You can cook fish at a campfire. Uh, yeah, I know we can, but there's no campfire that we can access, is the problem. Unless there's one in a different world, because uh, it came with Outdoor Retreat, and we can't get to Outdoor Retreat unless we pay money. Like, Sims money, obviously. In Windenburg on the island. Ooh, yeah! Yes, that's right, okay. If this was truly an extreme, extreme edition, we shouldn't just randomly be traveling between worlds, because how would we- how would we do that? Look, we'll do another version later on, if this one succeeds. Where we don't have to travel between worlds. <laughs> or where we're not allowed to. We should do one where it's just like survival island. And you have to live on this island and you can't leave. Which is actually- I think that would actually be possible because... You can fish, you can cook the fish there. Are there- is there anywhere to sleep? I don't know that there's any benches here though. That's probably the only issue. I don't know that you can sleep anywhere. Alright, so let's uh... Oh, can I not- Oh man, can you not cook fish on this? I thought you could. Ah, damn. Wait, so wait. You can nap in a bush. Oh yeah, that's true, you could do. But we can't even cook food on this. Is there another- I know there was another one on the other side of the beach, but I think it was just a bonfire. Uh, is there one at the bluffs? Because I know- yeah, you can cook- Ah, oh, man. You can definitely cook fish, but... By the beach. Can't cook on a bonfire- food on a bonfire. I think- okay, first of all, it's kind of annoying that you can't just cook fish on a- <laughs> on a barbecue. That's gonna be a bonfire as well, isn't it? Damn. You guys gave me false hope with that- with that tip. What is he doing? Is he gonna go- he's gonna go fertilize the bush. Well, you know what? I'll let him do that. There's only one in Granite Falls. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Damn it. Oh yeah, I know- because I know you can do that, but it's like it has to be the outdoor retreat one from Granite Falls. Alright, so I guess that idea is out the window. We're just gonna have to go back to the park and hope someone cooks food, which I will eventually, so we'll go back and see if we can get that. Should we go back to- let's try Oasis Springs again, because I'd prefer to be there. Go harvest a plant and eat it. Uh, like I said, we have to wait for them to actually grow, because nothing's grown yet, because it's a new game. They'll grow soon, in the next few days, so we should be okay. And honestly, in that case, when we get harvestables, it might be a good idea to go back to our own lot and just plant our own stuff, so we can just grow stuff there. Right, so hopefully someone will come along and make us food. In the meantime, let's just double check there's nothing we can harvest yet. I don't think so. No, it's, see, it's all really new, is the problem. Wasn't there one in Brindleton Bay? Yeah, see, okay, there's a few people suggesting there's one in Brindleton Bay. We'll, we'll go back there soon. Let's just wait here for a little bit. Okay, I can harvest a flower, but we can't eat a flower, so it's not really useful to me. Let's go back up here to- Oh, we can fish with bait. Maybe that's worth it. Now, uh, let's just go fishing normally. Oh, wait. Grab a serving. Oh, hang on. Sorry. No, 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 you do that. That's a great idea. Where are you grabbing that serving from? <gasps> we have food. We have food! You just missed food. No, 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 I got it. I got it. We have food. We just gotta run all the way there first. Now, now that we got food, now we need friends! Because we got no social. That's good stuff. Oh yeah, that's fresh. It's only got three hours. I assume packing into a sacked lunch is not gonna keep it forever. Thank you so much, Lin Lindsay Snyder. Wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for providing food. And just leaving it here on a plate. So if I pack that into a sack lunch, is that still gonna go off? Or is that gonna like- No, it's still gonna go off. Alright, so there's no point. There's wait. No, 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 hold up. No, it's still gonna go off. Damn, I was having the bag somehow. <laughs> yeah, that somehow gave it some magical properties that it didn't go off. That'd be incredible. Alright, well let's just- li I can't get it out. I can't get it out. Let's just leave it there, because we're not gonna- we're not gonna use that. I, I thought Lindy Snyder was a subscriber, not a sim. No, 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 she's a sim. Thank you so much to her. <laughs> Thank you so much for making the hot dogs. All right, let's go. Oh wait, no, no, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's find someone to talk to. Do you have the glutton trait? Nope. We are. Uh, what? What was our trait again? We're good, bro, and the other one, whatever it was, clumsy, is what we are. 
Let's go talk to that dude. Make more extreme by playing for 24 hours straight. Oh, Jesus, no. I'm not prepared to do that. Hey, bro. What up, man? Get to know. I'll ask him for some advice. I'm like, man, my life's pretty tough. Do you want to buy something from me? I wish I was an option to say <laughs> sell stuff to this guy. Here, buy my stuff, please. <laughs> Do we get a deep conversation? I just need a friend. Uh, can I just cloud gaze? Good. Cloud gazing is the way to go. Flirt with Katrina. Ugh. God, no. No, not Katrina. Never. We'll avoid her as long as we can. Oh, there's a dog. Uh, you can rummage for food if you're a slob. Yeah, see, I didn't want to use, like, I, I said this earlier, I didn't want to use any traits that kind of make it easier. So, like, good bro and clumsy doesn't really give us any benefits. Like, good and bro just give us a few social interactions. Clumsy just, I think it just says it makes him laugh and stuff. Like, it's not really going to benefit us in any, any way. Yeah, I, we can eat spoiled food out of a trash if we're a glutton or a slob. Uh, eat out of the trash. Oh, no, sorry, you can eat spoiled food if you're a glutton or eat out of the trash if you're a slob. That's cool, but I, I again, like I like I said, I wanted to use some traits that were a little bit more, just a bit more challenging. Play an instrument for tips. Yep, but we have to be able to afford an instrument because uh, one of the rules that I made is that we can't just play an instrument that's already in the world. Like I want to have to get our own one, so we have to earn money to do that first. Hence the extreme edition. All right, we're getting our social up though, which is good. <laughs> All right, that'll do for now. We're gonna be tired soon. Uh, what grows in this world in regards to food? Actually, while we're here, let's just grab these guys because we're gonna want to sell as much stuff as we can when we can eventually get to um, the flea market. Oh, we should dig in there too. Let me just go around this place and just get as much stuff as I can. Fua! What's that? That's a daisy bush. That's not gonna be edible. Anything edible I want to keep an eye on because that'd be very useful. That's a flower. That's not going to be useful at all. Uh, I think there's a few things around here. Well, there's like blackberry bushes that grow here, obviously, because we did this in our Let's Play. Flowers. So many flowers here. Lemon. I mean, I guess you could eat lemons, right? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be very nice, but if you, you got to do what you got to do, you know? There's a few lemon trees around here. I wish I were lemon cellos. That'd be much nicer. Ah, nice. Perfect for a lazy Sunday afternoon. Ah, that's good. I'm glad. <laughs> Do you have a big Saturday night? Because, uh, it'd be good for that. Oh, there's carrots here, actually. That'd be good. If we can get that when that is eventually harvestable. If we can get some of these things and take them back with us to our plot and grow them there. <gasps> oh, hello, food. We should stock up on food. Two common upgrade parts. Extract any fossils you can. Yeah, I guess we could do that. Well, I'll wait. Okay, I'll wait till he's done all that and then we'll grab a serving. He's not really hungry, but I just want to stock up on food. <laughs> just want to stock up, you know? All right, I'm running all the way over here. You can sell frogs. Well, can we though? Can you sell them at a flea market? Because I, I like I know you can definitely sell all of this. Well, at least all the minerals and that. I don't know. I don't know about fish. I don't know how much of this stuff we can sell. Well, I mean, I guess we'll find out. Your inventory is going to get so full. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, yes, you can sell frogs at the flea market. I hope. Okay. That's food, like, taken care of. That's pretty good. I mean, while we're here, we're also right next to that, so we might as well go to the toilet. Sing for tips. Again, uh, that's something that I would prefer to have to buy the microphone to do first, uh, rather than just going. Because I feel like, as a homeless person, that's clearly stinking. They probably wouldn't let you into a club to take the stage and sing, you know? Unless there's one outside somewhere, but I don't know. But also, the same thing goes for, like, the, the whole uh, museum and the instruments. I don't really want to play those. Um, all right, so those are still all waiting to go. I think we'll go up here and have a nap because no, you know what? No, let's not do that. Let's go. Let's go over this way. Let's go to the sinks over here. Are these? No, these are just anyone can use them. All right, go wash your hands like 10 times. That'd be great. Can't you sing without the microphone? Can you? Like, I know, I know there's an option, but do you not have to have a skill to do that? Or can, oh, you can just practice singing. But can you sing for tips without a microphone, though? Strip for tips. Ah, oh, if only. <laughs> if only. All right, let's just wash my hands like 10 times. We can brush our teeth as well. You know, don't go home. Why does he want to go home? There's nothing there. There's more stuff here, dude. All right, let's uh, have a sleep. Why don't you sleep inside? Because I feel like, again, as a, as a homeless person, they probably would, like, they probably would not let that happen, you know? Even just sleeping on a bench. I mean, this bench is kind of in the middle of nowhere, so it's probably fine. But that's why. Like, that's just one of my rules. That's just the rules of the challenge. No, don't go home. There's nothing at home, dude. Just stay here. <laughs> just stay here. Why don't you enter the secret world next to you? Because we need handiness level 10 to open that. And we do not have that. 
Let's dig those two spots there as well soon. Anything up here? Hopefully there'll be some like produce and stuff around here soon. Rags to riches. Oh, squad. 